This is a big bass right here. Like he's big. Got him. Stay pan. Stay pan. You got one? Yep. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dangling with Dev video. As you can see, we are inside of Dick's Sporting Goods in the Guggen bait section. Now guys, I had an idea for this and it was gonna involve comparing some Guggen baits for you guys because as you know, you can use code dev at guggensquad.com and pick up some Guggen baits, Guggen rods, anything on there, save 10%, use my code. I appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me, so run that up, but I'm sorry, Guggen, today's video is gonna be sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. Guys, I had no clue which baits I was gonna get and because I had no clue, I was like, you know what? They make a company for that who just so happens to be today's sponsor. Now, I don't know if I wanna spend all the money on the Juggernaut Box, because I am in South Florida, haven't spent a lot of money. You got the mother load box from Mystery Tackle Box. A bass fishing kit, a bass fishing kit, pro, elite, I don't know. Am I feeling pro or elite today? Am I feeling pro or elite today? Mmm, salt water, she says. Inshore salt water? Ugh. What about panfish and trout for bass? What about, what, well, because they make a, uh, let's not get too crazy here. They make a specific bass fishing kit just for bass. So we're gonna be targeting peacock, largemouth, and whatever else is here in South Florida. So should I go pro, elite, or the old standard. Comment down below which one I should get, guys, because I have no clue. Pressure's on, drum roll, please. <laughs> elite. Guys, I'm spending a lot of money, I'm going elite. Uh, $60 value, $45 in store. Uh, but yeah, let's get outside and check out what is in the box. All right, guys, we're here at the first spot, rigging up. Um, we're gonna open up this mystery tackle box and see what we got in here. Wait, hold on, you've never done this. Come here, come on. Come on, people like you. Ta-da! Surprise, guess who's here? Oh, I'm just butchering this box. Sorry. All right, you do the honors. Open up! You're not gonna mess it up. Okay, first thing we got is a Uziri jerkbait. Guys, I was actually talking about this, we were fishing the other day, that a jerkbait might do really, really well for Peacock, because they love to follow up and then hit on a pause. So what's next? Oh, another tournament, great, what is this? Strike Pro jerkbait? I've never thrown a jerkbait with the, uh, I might even, this might not even be a jerkbait. What the heck? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a floating jerk bait. I've never thrown one with a lip that big, so that'll be fun. <laughs> All right, guys, we basically have, I'm pretty sure it's a Whopper Plopper from Weston. Uh, that thing is absolutely massive. So if, uh, if old bass was going to eat that, that was going to be fun. Oh my God, I've thrown this before, guys. So this, by motorboat it's basically another top water like buzz bait but like a worm style we're i just want you to know we have a challenge on our hands today guys we're gonna be trying to catch guys we're gonna be trying to catch fish on every single one of these today for you guys okay we yeah we can we can work with the zinger zingers are good i'm gonna uh throw a trailer on this that we actually might have some trailers in here for it okay okay we got some big bite baits what are these Honestly, they look kind of like their version of a trench hog or something. So that could be really well. If we, especially if we find some on bed, that'll work really, really well. Hooks, guys, always need hooks. Oh, we got some Guggen baits. Some trick worm June bugs. Guys, like I said, Guggen. You, you still got to... Oh, wow. Guggen's all in this video, actually. Jeez. Oh, that's going on my freaking laptop right, right now. Keep this, please. Guys, stickers are my favorite part of Mr. Taco Box. If you want to... Go to Mystery Tackle Box and use code. What's my code? I forgot my code. Danglin Dev. Is it Danglin Dev or Sorry, is it Yeah, no, no, no. 10? No, it's Danglin Dev. Danglin Dev 10 is for Carl's. And guys, if you want to, check out Mystery Tackle Box. You get all of these baits. This one was like $45. Just for example, uh, well, I think these are like $8.99. Five. These hard baits are always almost $10. Call that 20. Let's say let's just say we're sitting at 40 already. 
that's at least 15 easily this is like another 10 to 15 guys i can't do math a lot a lot of savings all right just use code dangling dev at checkout to save even more and with that said guys we're gonna get rigged up she has braids so i'm gonna put a liter of fluorocarbon so uh the old bass can't see them i've never fished this spot don't even know if there's fish here but we're gonna catch you guys on the water i have zero clue if there are fish in here guys all right i'm starting out with the jerk bait She's never thrown a jerk bait, so this should be pretty interesting. All right, so come here, we're gonna have a little jerk bait lesson. All right, so you can cast it out, and because it has that lip, when you, if you just reel it, you see how it just stays down there and wobbles back and forth? You can do that, or what you're supposed to do is jerk. You see how it's really erratic? And then you can just kinda every now and then hey all right it's all good oh oh that's a larger he's gonna eat it let him eat it set it get him i almost went to the hospital that was sick hey come back oh i just got followed It's not gonna sink. Got him. Oh. All right, guys. I'm gonna let this little bitty bass go. He hit, ate that huge jerk bait. She's working on a bigger largemouth down here. I really want her to get it. Yeah, oh yeah, stop it. Dang it. All right, I have to now change baits. This is a big bass right here. Like he's big. All right guys, I re-rigged up. As you can see, I have on the little worm buzz bait top water thingy. Don't know how that is going to work out here. Fish came all the way out of the water over there. You got one? Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! You set the hook like a champ every single Jeez. time. Thumb him. Nice. What's all right, up, we're not gonna get away. It's definitely not your PB. No. Heck yeah. Like you followed it all the way up and you hit it when I paused it. Yeah, right when you paused it, just like you're supposed to do a jerk bait. All right, get him back in. Don't step on my rod. Heck yeah. All right, now you get to pick your next lure. Got him, let's go, jeez. Oh my gosh, I was not looking forward to throwing this anymore I don't need them thank the lord guys that was probably my least favorite lure to throw sometimes in the mystery tackle boxes you get lures that you don't think you're gonna like and you love them then you get lures you think you're gonna like and you hate them which is what we just had stopped it right at the edge of this grass for like two seconds let them think about it and come up so yeah on to the next lure guys all right guys she's still working on her top water plopper i rigged up the little bug thing trench hog looking thing we got in there from big bites baits and hey it's gonna be slow rolling this on the bottom I wish I could find some on beds. Got him. Let's go. <laughs> Did you sight fish him? <laughs> I 
I was like, well, she sees something. She <laughs> Good job. Can you give her the pliers really quick? Yeah. There you go, holds. Thanks, dude. Good job, babe. Now you get to move on to uh, spinnerbait. Hey. All right, goodbye. Good job, babe. <laughs> I'm proud of you. I want to go catch those suckers up at the front. I really want to knock this bad boy off the dang list. Said I really want to knock this bad boy off the list. Uh oh. And my heart is like I got a fish. Yeah. Yep. Running. Oh. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. That's a big old fat chalet for you. South Florida fat <laughs> chalet. Shouts out AO. Oh my gosh, finally got that little trench hog bug thing off. Oh, he's probably, he's probably right at four. He's heavy. He's long. Yeah, I'll give him 3.6 on scale. Oh, 3.35. We'll call him 3.3 on scale. Nice guys, almost a little three and a half pounds. Thanks, man. Whoa. Going straight back into the hole. There you go. And we're back. I now have the slim shake on. So we just need one on the slim shake and one on the old zinger. And we are done with this mystery tackle box challenge, guys. I cannot believe we haven't caught a peacock. Like actually kind of flabbergasted. It's so like literally I'm literally getting bit right now. Let him eat it all the way. Oh, he's little. I don't care. At least I'm done with this. <laughs> Guys, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't because some old lady was talking to us. And uh, as soon as I paused my bait to turn on the camera i felt the ding 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 thanks bud all right so now all we have left is uh the old spinnerbait which uh babe is working on how about i throw that and you can throw a rattle trap oh, you don't think i can do it well it's going to be incredibly tough i think you can do it i think you're going to get frustrated yeah you throw it all you want you want me to throw a paddle channel back over for you a trailer tie the uh, jerk bait back on while she's using the zinger still come on it's the last one we need <laughs> they're just not eating it all the way you're gonna have to keep doing that over and over here give me the trailer i'm gonna take it off He got, oh, he's got it. Oh, <laughs> it was the smaller one. All right, let's go find some other ones there. We're about to get them. We'll get them. Got him. 
Stay pinned. Stay pinned. No! Guys, I've been trying to catch this fish for two days now. You ready to go? Guys, I just looked down and he had completely, like, that peacock fought so hard that he bent out the attachment for the treble hook right here on the back and took it off. I mean, he's right here. If he bites again, it'd be ridiculous. But this is why you use uh, the old quality Guggen baits, guys, instead of this Walmart trash. Let's see if we can catch him again. Nah. All right. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. As you can see, we have Fish on Norn that we're about to start filming for his channel, so you guys stay tuned for that. But we killed this challenge, guys. We caught fish on everything. My girlfriend caught her PB. Yeah, uh, and with that said, we actually have a very good video coming up next. A huge altercation, as you guys are gonna see. A little tidbit of that in this. But make sure you stay around for that. Keep hitting that subscribe button, keep hitting that like button. And, like yep, and subscribe. bye.